Today, I'm going to try and sort these English loan words by their language of origin. Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. Great to see you again, thanks so much for tuning in. We are back today with another not geography quiz we're doing a language quiz um but it's geography adjacent there's still countries and languages involved so don't worry um thank you to lth for making this quiz they've given us 70 english loan words uh, and we have to sort them by the language of origin which should be a lot of fun uh some should be quite obvious but some might require a little bit of deduction which is uh what we like and we've got 10 minutes to do this so we'll just jump right in uh please like this channel like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like this quiz and send any quiz suggestions my way as well. Uh, you can message me on Sporkle, comment, uh, link is in the description below and we've just wasted 10 seconds. So, okay, let's go through first of all and look at what languages we're dealing with. We've got five Japanese, four French, five Spanish, five Hebrew, five Chinese, five Sanskrit, five Russian, five Hawaiian, five Italian, five Irish, five Arabic, five German, Latin, Alonqui Alonquian languages, and Japanese. Okay, so Alonquian languages are North American, uh, Native American languages. Right, okay, so what is the best way to approach this? Um, time is going to be a bit of a factor as we get to the end. So let's go through and do the ones we know for sure. Karaoke, perhaps one of the most famous loan words ever, means empty orchestra. That is Japanese. Uh, okay, uh, I think I'm going to go through and um, these words, like doppelganger for example, I know is going to be german hey some of you will go through the other way and try and find the words based on the language um but this one works for me and uh whatever system works for you go for it doppelganger okay gulag is russian i think gulags of course being the um camps uh used in russia in the 20th century uh Champagne should be French. It'll get easier once I've started to narrow things down a little bit. Okay, actually, maybe let's try the French ones because they're fairly obvious. Like, I saw a marionette here as well. Um, yeah, this, this might be a little bit easy. Entrepreneur, that could be French, right? The aim of this one, I think, is to get 100%, right? Uh, what else could be French? Once we've got one or two left, we can skip through. It's more about just narrowing down some of the board. Because um, you'll naturally kind of skip over some of them as well. Uh, I mean, yeah, my head is kind of... Let's do Latin, I think. That's a good one, because that's just so distinctive from everything else. Gosh, this 10 minutes is going to seem so short. And of course, Latin is going to be all the way at the end. Okay, Latin. What have we got? Um, status quo, I saw. Um, ergo, that's Latin. Vice versa? Is that? That's Latin, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of the loan words from Latin tend to be like two-word phrases. Okay. Um, right, let's move on. Um... Along Korean languages, I saw raccoon. Um, there was another one I saw which probably is going to fit as well. Uh, toboggan, that's a Inuit um, word I thought, possibly. Um, Quahog, maybe. That sounds reasonably North American. Uh, Japanese haiku. Origami. Tsunami is Japanese. Okay, that's perfect. French, we already kind of did. Okay, Spanish, we're going to have. Fresco is going to be Italian. Um, what could be Spanish? Requiem will be French, right? Oh, no. Is Requiem? Oh, maybe Latin. Okay. It's annoying. <laughs> uh, okay, Spanish? Yeah, I just can never get my head around Spanish. Um, Hebrew. Uh, I saw kibbutz. Rabbi, oh, bonsai, that'll be Japanese as well, won't it? That's the last Japanese word? Okay, perfect. Um, gosh, gosh, gosh. Okay, Chinese, uh, Feng Shui, Shanghai, Wok. There was another one I saw as well. Oh, Bar Mitzvah will be Hebrew. 
Chinese. Uh, there was another one I saw, possibly. Uh, ginseng is Chinese. Cool. Uh, Sanskrit, that's something I'm not super good at. Um, Hawaiian should be luau, mahi, mahi, uh, hula, uh, lanai, that sounds um, Hawaiian or Polynesian. Moccasin is Algonquin. Okay, Italian. Uh, fresco, cappuccino, soprano. Oh, ukulele is Hawaiian. That's the last Hawaiian one. Okay, cool. Uh, and then Italian will also have... See, some of these you can kind of deduce based on the fact these things are linked with the country. Uh, but some are just, you know, uh, loan words that have uh, become so uh, popular otherwise. Okay, Irish, that's going to be Limerick, Leprechaun, uh, Whiskey... There's another one I saw which could be there, but that's okay. We'll move on to Arabic. So I guess Arabic is going to be Sultan, Harem, Hormus? Okay. Algebra is, was invented in by the Arabs, right? In the um, Middle Ages, but that might not be right. Um, German. Okay, I saw Hamburger. Or Hamburger. Hamburger. Um, pretzel was going to be German probably, right? Gosh, this is a fun quiz. The time limit is really, uh, oh, Dachshund, I guess, is, or Dachshund, I guess, is going to be German. Latin one is kind of annoying to me. Okay, Algonquin language is Moccasin, um, Totem? I don't know about that one. Um, I'm going to say Quahog, just because it's, uh, uniquely, um, North American. Okay, French. Oh my goodness. Okay, Spanish. Let's say mosquito, uh, tortilla, um, gorilla sounds Spanish. Okay, uh, Hebrew, Chinese. One more Chinese one. Um, Yo no, not yoga. That'd be um, Sanskrit, possibly. Same as Nirvana. Okay, uh, okay. So we're gonna say yoga, Nirvana. I think assassin is Sanskrit. Oh, no, I got that wrong. Okay. Um, Banshee? Oh, no. The pressure is getting to me. Oh, this is so annoying. Um, Karma, possibly, though, right? Okay, perfect. Uh, Russian. Uh, Balakaila. Uh, Saar. Even though Saar derives from Caesar, which is Latin, but that's fine. Um, oh, annoying. Um, definitely could have got a bit more on this if I had had more time uh italian broccoli sure irish brogue and banshee is irish yeah of course it is so, i knew that let's go with algebra for arabic um and then maybe assassin is arabic as well possibly yes okay german i saw zeitgeist down there um so what have i got left uh there's 11 questions remaining i can the timing kind of yeah messed me up a little bit unfortunately um i had more time than i thought so we've got one russian Two Latin, one Algonquin language, um, two Spanish, two Hebrew, one Chinese. Okay. Some of these, like this one here, for example, are definitely going to be um, Sanskrit. So I um, kind of messed myself up on that. But vodka should be Russian, right? Uh, Latin, I think embargo should be Latin. Oh. But we said Requiem was going to be Latin, right? Okay, cool. <sighs> Annoyed with myself. So, embargo should... <laughs> should be French, but it's not. Okay. All right. Let's at least finish it on a high. Yeah. Okay. Um, Russian, what's left? Samovar? Sounds Russian. Algonquin languages could be, I mean, kumquat? That sounds... Well, totem. Let's go... Mm, Spanish. Tobacco? That sounds Spanish. Um, 
Hebrew. Gosh. All right. Um, let's go totem for long languages. Okay. Spanish embargo, I guess, if it's not French. Uh, and hallelujah, come what memorandum, naive. This will be French. Rouge will be French. Hebrew. I mean, Hebrew will be hallelujah, right? Um, oh, gosh. Now I need to... Um, did say avatar for Chinese? No. Uh, Hebrew. Okay. Not not terrible. The timing was off a little bit on that one, I'd say. Let's try and work out what these will be. I think mana and this one here will be... Okay, mana is Hebrew. This one should be Sanskrit, though. Uh, this is Latin. Cool. Uh, this These rouge and naive will be French. Kumquat... I mean... What can quite be? I, I actually don't know. Chinese. Okay, that's Chinese. And Avatar. This one is Sanskrit as well, right? Yeah. It's Hindu mythology. Okay, I would have liked to have get, got more on that. I think, um, yeah, I let the time get to me a little bit. But hey, that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for, to LTH for making this quiz. Um, I'd love to do some similar ones as well. If anyone's got any um, anything similar, send them my way. And, uh, yeah. Also, there's a link as well to buy me a coffee in the um, description below. If you uh, could spare a few dollars, that's always appreciated. But no hassle if you can't. Okay, until next time, I shall see you later. Ka kite Bye.